Morning guys, it's around about 5.30 a.m. I'm on my way down to Wellington. The boys made the indoor cricket final and uh, the, the play tonight. So it's a, it's, a, it's a long day for me today. Set off from, from my base at 4 a.m. I want to get a, around about an hour into my journey, pull off the, uh, pull off the main highway, uh, because we, we're driving past the Rohini Ranges, which are, we, we had a, a big old rainstorm the other day, and obviously the rain dropped on the plains, turned to snow on the hills, and uh, we've got a good dusting of snow up on the top there. I'd love to be able to have the time to get down there and get some really good photographs, but it's about another about another 40 minutes drive to get actually down there, and once you get down there, you've got to do a little bit of hiking to get to a decent vantage point, uh, because obviously the closer you get to the, the mountains, you've got the foothills in the way that sort of block your view until you actually get over the foothills into the mountains. Anyway, so, so basically I've not got time, that's the upshot. Just a, a real quickie, I'd pull off the road on the way down and uh, get, a, get a photograph. I'm going to set the Bronica up again and just get a quick photograph as the, the first shafts of sunlight, the first rays of sunlight hit the, hit the mountaintops. Uh, we've got a, a long, long leading line of a, of, a, of a road which is kind of running off towards the mountains. And that's that's going to be the subject. It's uh, just going to be a real quickie. I'm going to be in no more than 20 minutes after after sunrise, and then I'm back on the road and heading down to Wellington. Now, once I get down to Wellington, I've got a couple of little things I want to do before the uh, before the cricket. There's a, there's a, a lighthouse I want to visit, um, so we'll get that one. And then tomorrow morning, there's a few shots I want to try and get as well. And once we get a little bit of light, I'll uh, I'll take it outside and show you what I'm looking at. It's uh, fingers crossed. It's going to make a nice little shot. Right, so having a little walk around, I've come to the decision that these little puddles are going to make a nice little foreground for the shot leading out from this little dirt road onto the onto the highway there, and we power with a couple of power poles and the road leading off into the distance. Now, luckily, it's it's crystal clear. We've not got a cloud in the sky apart from obviously over the mountains. We've got a little bit too much cloud on the mountain tops for my liking because obviously it's obscuring the, the snow line. You can just about see it, but, but it's, it's kind of obscure, obscuring it a bit. But over the top of the mountain range, we have this band of light cloud. As soon as the sun comes up, that light is going to catch. You can already see it catching now. It's catching pink. Uh, but I think that's going to glow incredibly. Um, I'm quite excited. I think this is going to make quite a nice little shot. I'm not going to spend too much time here because I've got uh, I've got to get on the road and and push along, but I think it's going to be quite nice. Equipment-wise, obviously, I'm using the Bronica ETRSI 50 millimeter prime lens, which is 28 millimeter 35 full frame equivalent. No filters on this shot at all. What you see is what you're going to get. I'm shooting on Kodak Ektar 100. I bought a uh, I bought a bulk load of Ektar 100, so uh, I got it. I got it fairly cheap actually because it's, it's uh, recently expired stock. So uh, good for me. That that's all that's happening at the moment, guys. Uh, the sun's going to be up another 10 minutes, maybe 10, 15 minutes, and that sky. Oh, look at it already. She's she's lighting up like a treat. Now what I've what I've done as well, I could get the moon in the shot. I've just been framing it up in the in the camera. And if I include the moon, it just becomes a, a white dot. And for, for me personally, it looks quite distracting. So I've tilted the camera down a little bit just to crop out the moon. So I've got from the from a puddle here in the foreground all the way up to the top of the uh, the pink band of cloud that's forming. And uh, and that is my shot. We've got the first light hitting the hitting the mountain top there. And it's looking quite beautiful.
So I've had a walk up and down the road trying to improve the shot a little bit and then I thought I found a shot near the fence line which is which is glowing beautifully in this early morning sunshine but unfortunately when I came back to get the the little video camera the M50 I uh, I turned around and looked and I thought shit actually these early morning long shadows are playing absolutely beautifully within the scene so uh, I'm back to more or less my original composition which is using these two puddles in the foreground and uh, with the long shadows created by the early morning sun it's just adding a little bit to the overall shot I'm just going to get a Another really quick meter reading. I'm using the incident light meter to record the light that's falling onto the scene. I know it's a hell of a distance, but my foreground's obviously not a distance. So at the minute, f11, an eighth of a second, which is looking pretty damn good on the screen. And unfortunately, the little the little magnifier is steaming up. <laughs> what a bugger. First world problems, eh? Alright guys, so we're just about to take the 14th frame. And I've got one frame left. What do I do with this one frame? What do I do? I don't know. To be honest with you, I don't know if I'm going to improve on that. I really like that shot. I've decided not to waste that film. I've got one shot left on the roll. It's one shot, digital, I'd have been blasting away, running around getting different compositions. But with film, you've got to, you've got to, you've got to really slow down with film and you've got to be conservative in your thinking, conservative in your shooting. And you've got to make Make every shot count. It's a bit of a cliche, but... So, I'm gonna pack this up now, get in the van, push on the road. I've got about another two and a half hours to get through and uh, we should be in Wellington. Looking forward to seeing these shots come back. That one in particular, I really do like that shot. All right, guys, let's crack on. Mm -hmm. 